Well, uh, we will get started. Laura, if we can call the roll. Uh, sure. Councillor Elkins. Here. Councillor Perry. Here. Councillor Jarrett. Here. And Councillor Mayori. Here. Excellent. All right. Well, welcome to the February 12th uh, Legislative Matters meeting. Um, I don't think we have anybody in the waiting room. Um, so it's it's just us today. Um, I I will go ahead and uh, uh, announce that the it's being audio and video recorded. If anybody goes back and looks later. Um, and we don't have anybody here for public comment. So I uh, We'll move on through that. Um, and uh, Laura let us know earlier um, today that she needed a little bit more time on the January 29th uh, minutes, which as you said in your email was a pretty detailed <laughs> uh, meeting. So um, so that's totally fine. So we'll pass over that on the agenda for now. Um, and we have um, three items um, referred to us on the committee. Um, so Alex, I know you are you you're you're prepared really to talk about a, a couple of these, but not necessarily all three of them. I can speak generally to all of them. Okay, thank you. And just you know, for the for the record, I was I had to to hop off the last council meeting uh because I was sick. So I I reviewed the materials and um know what's before us. Um, but uh I appreciate Alex um chatting with us about these ordinances um, for today's purposes. So I'll let you go. So the uh, first item is uh, 24007, an ordinance relative to stop sign, a, uh, to stop sign on Redford Drive. Uh, so I'll let you talk about that one first, or you can talk about them sure. in whatever order. Yeah, know. so I'm a member of the Transportation and Parking Commission. So we discussed this there um, and it, it was, uh, had a, got a positive recommendation there, which then and then went to council. Um, so this is a four way intersection and there's no stop control on one side. Um, so that's unclear for approaching vehicles. Uh, uh, so this will add a stop control on Redford Drive. And then um, I don't remember Cardinal Way, I think, is on the other side. Um, there'll be a stop control there. And then traffic on Burt's Pit can travel freely as it still does or as it does now here i'm going to share the screen just so we can all look at the picture real quick yeah so there's an existing one at cardinal way but there's not one at redford drive and it's not i guess when you have a a higher speed road and a smaller road coming into it, it's apparently not required to always have a stop sign, even with a four way intersection. But um, in this case, it's it's recommended. Uh, seems very reasonable to me. Does anybody have any thoughts or comments? I'll move a positive recommendation. All right. Uh, Second. All right. Any discussion, Rachel? Uh, yeah, just any any uh, feedback from the community at DPC? Not for this one. Okay. Not that I recall. All right, very good. And uh, I can I haven't gotten any emails. Um, I don't know if anybody else has, but I haven't gotten any uh, constituent feedback. Um, anything else? Anybody have any other comments or discussion? All right, well, uh, hearing none, I'll have a roll call. Councillor Elkins. Yes. Councillor Perry. Yes. Councillor Jarrett. Yes. And Councillor Maori. I, th I think she unmuted and said yes, but we didn't hear her. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I was talking to my kid at the same time. I was doing that parent <laughs> thing. Right? So I was throwing my voices in two places. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you're, I'm sure your kid would uh, prefer you just say yes to all the things, right? So, <laughs> Absolutely. That's the thing to go with. All right. Um, so next on the agenda is 24.008, an ordinance relative to multi-way stop signs at various locations referred by uh, to legislative matters by the city council on January 1st. 
February 1st. Um, and I'm going to, I'll share screen. So as, um, as you speak, we can see, I always like to look at the pictures. Oh yeah. Um, it's very helpful. <laughs> so the first one is Hinkley Street at Warner Street. And um, that we, all, all, for all of all three of these, there there was a consultant who was commissioned to give a report. Um, so the consultant was Fuss and O'Neill, and they detailed the criteria they used to make a recommendation for a four-way stop. And so the recommendation is based on the intersection site distance standards. Um, there are there's a fence and vegetation um, that's on on multiple properties on these corners. And uh, even though the, you know, the zoning codes uh, are met, um, they, the, they do interfere with the recommended safe intersection site distances. This one did have a bunch of public comment um, at TPC. And um, there are neighbors that are concerned who live um, on the, uh, at, at one of the corners, especially. Um, and then, so there was, there was a, a variety of opinions, but, um, you know, ultimately, I think that the decision is best made by uh, the the fact that we, you know, it does not meet the intersection site distance standards, um, and so a four way stop uh, is appropriate. Okay, and that's this one, the um, the Warner and Hinkley at Warner, yeah. Okay. Huh. Um, do you want to? Um, why don't we talk about each of them, and we'll go on and um, come back and discuss briefly um the oh oh do you want me to I, yeah I, I, yeah <laughs> so you know we talk about this one like discuss this one and then okay no got it sorry okay so this one is riverside drive at federal street um and there are safety issues with motorists who are traveling fast on riverside drive and then um other vehicles are pulling out uh, on federal uh, onto Riverside Drive, and also uh, issues with pedestrians crossing Riverside with the, the high rate of speed. Um, there have been crashes here um, at TPC. They went over the, the crash data, and um, the, the four-way stop control uh, seems to be the, the best option. There is a, a concern, like there is in many other places in the city, where um, you know, if you're coming down Riverside Drive, uh, <clears throat> From a bit from um, the cutlery building, that area, then right. you're coming down a hill and you have to stop at the bottom of that hill. Um, and uh, so this will be a priority sanding and salting area for the DPW um, be, to make sure that that people are able to stop uh, as they come down the hill. All righty, and then this one. So this is Prospect Street at Crescent and Summer Streets. Um, uh, it's uh, sight line concerns. It's kind of a diagonal intersection, yeah. as you can see. There's and um, <clears throat> it it the no report recommended that there be a four way stop. All right, very good. Um, uh, also has a similar problem, mainly people. This would be where people are coming up Summer Street. Um, it's pretty steep there. Uh, so again. Uh, then, then being able to start again um, could be a concern. I imagine that people will perhaps just in really bad weather would decide to go around, um, but it would also be a priority sanding and salting area. Right. Um, okay. Any uh, anybody anybody want to look at this anymore? I'll stop the share if, if everybody is seeing. Okay. Uh, Rachel. Yeah, it's just that that if you take a left on that um, on prospect there, it, it might just be the bird's eye view, but it looks pretty. Can you act? I guess that you can see enough to see the driver. That looked like a, a lot of um, a, a lot of uh, blockage in the in the in the view site. So uh, we're, but I guess it's better if it's a four way stop. That because the yeah. diagonal it looks like you wouldn't be able to see the, that the driver coming from Crescent. You know what I'm saying? But or is that you're, just a shadow? You're saying if you're coming from yeah. Pros coming down Prospect, 
um not from yeah. smith but from the other way yeah right and i'm just then, curious because it yeah, looks yeah. like but I, I guess like it, and there isn't one there now huh which is worse i was gonna say that it'd be hard to see the driver on crescent if you uh, from prospect on that corner but then yeah I yeah suppose that the, like, the gamble is that you you know it's better to have to stop and look is that right is that what they concluded right so there's currently yeah. a stop sign on prospect and so having to turn having to look that really far to the right diagonal to see up crescent and yeah. since the people on crescent don't have to stop um that it, that could be you know yeah. that that's the sight line concern and so right. if they do have to stop, then, you know, you, you're you sure, then there they are. And then you know whether or not to go. Yeah, I just hope they can see them when they are stopped. But I guess they'll be going at much lower speeds anyway. So it's definitely a safety. Grade. Yeah, I think I think if you look at, at you know, where that stop line is, uh -huh. uh, you you can see that looking straight ahead, you can see the folks on cre uh, where the stop sign will go on Crescent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, I'm just. I'm very familiar with this um, intersection, and if you feel like you have to slow down and stop, I mean, or even maybe stop anyway, um, because mm -hmm. it doesn't feel safe to to just keep on on going. Uh, so seems like a natural place for me. All right, I'm going to stop the share now. If we've. Uh, all right. Any. Any other discussion? Um, I, I, I'm for one, I'm happy to see the suggestion for the stop sign at Riverside and federal. That's a particularly, I feel like dangerous spot because the like Riverside, um, coming from the direction of my home, uh, it, like looking to the left, that's downhill. And there's like, I mean, cars are just right on top of you. Um, I mean, cause they're, they're cresting the, the, you don't see them coming down the hill until, you're kind of committed to the to the, the turn or the cross or whatever. So, um, and they Bess's bus stop was right there for a year or so, and I was like, I hated it. Anyway, that's a, that's that. Um, any other um, any other comments or um, any other feedback uh, other than the Warner Street and Hinkley um, from the the meeting from the public community? Um. Um, I, I'm pretty sure almost everyone spoke in favor of river, the Riverside Drive at Federal. I don't remember if there were folks there for Prospect Street. Okay. Um, I have a motion for positive recommendation. I will move a positive recommendation for these. Okay. Okay. Uh, any 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 further discuss discussion? Going once, going twice. All right. Uh, roll call, please. Councilor Perry. Yes. Councilor Jarrett. Yes. Councilor Mayori. Yes. And Councilor Elkins. Yes. All righty. Um, so next item is 24009, an ordinance relative to parking on West Street. And... I'm going to share screen to show the. All right. All right, Alex, what can you yeah. tell us about this? <laughs> yes. So this this uh, crosswalk connects the Smith College parking garage to the rest of the campus. So it's a primary way for people to access it. And um, there have been. Uh, there, there was a crash, I guess, a couple of years ago now. There was a serious injury. Um, there, there have been other other concerns concerning crashes in the area. And um, the goal here is to improve the sight lines uh, so that as soon as someone has stepped into the crosswalk, uh, <clears throat> that you there won't be parked cars that will uh, block the view of people coming along West Street. Um, <clears throat> There's this is part of the the work that Smith College uh, com contributed two hundred and some thousand dollars um, to the city to work on the safety of this area and also on Elm Street. Um, so th 
the there will be better improvements uh, coming. Um, <clears throat> but this is this is a short term, well, I mean, long term uh, decision, but um, a, a immediate <clears throat> um, decision that <clears throat> change that can help um, to make sure that people are visible. Okay. Um, do you know, was there, um, well, first of all, was there any commentary uh, at the transportation oh. meeting at the, was this? Um, I I can't recall that versus some of the other public comment that we've heard about West Street. I mean, I can't recall wh 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 when I heard it, but there's certainly uh, support for improving this for much more than just this. Um, but right. this is one step. Okay. And, and during the... Um, during the warmer months when there isn't snow, they also trialed a uh, putting some uh, blocks. I don't recall exactly where those were, but I know that once the um, <clears throat> the the snow season is over, that they'll put the other temporary measures out to to improve um, the the the. I don't know if that will improve visibility, but Maybe it will improve um, the speed at which folks travel because when you narrow the road, people are going to slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you know if we've heard anything from these folks here? The the is that rental property or? Uh, yeah, it's I believe it's Smith College rental property, um, or some at least some of the buildings in that area are. I haven't heard anything. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, any discussion? Any thoughts? Um, I, for one, I, I was, uh, you know, this has been a, a, a trouble, a troubled and troublesome uh, intersection. So I was glad to see us starting to put some real solutions in in addition to what I know I think is being worked on coming down the coming down the pike um in the future so I I'm glad to see us starting on what we can do right now anybody anybody else have any discussion all right can I have a motion I will make a positive motion I'll sure. second uh all right, last last call for discussion. Okay, uh, Laura, if we can have a roll call, please. Councilor Jarrett. Yes. Councilor Maori. Yes. Councilor Elkins. Yes. And Councilor Perry. Yes. Very good. All right, and so that will go forward with a positive recommendation. All three of these will. Um, I. Hang on just a second. Um, we, I asked Laura to put on, uh, so moving to the next agenda item, I asked Laura to put it um, on uh, just for a discussion um, about just because we didn't discuss the uh, format of legislative matters and whether or not there was a preference, a uh, strong preference one way or the other. Um, I, in general, I always prefer to, I prefer, you know, hybrid whenever that's available and I'm always, you know, game to to go to council, but I'm also very, um, uh, I'm also very grateful and I always want us to have the hybrid option. Um, and sorry, there's a little activity in my kitchen. Um, so, so I'm, but I'm, I'm pretty easy, um, either, either way. Um, and so if people feel very strongly that they would want just, um, just, uh, zoom, uh, that wouldn't be my first preference, but if people feel strongly about it, I, uh, I'm okay with that. Hmm. Alex. Um, I like that this was on zoom because this was a short meeting and we didn't have to do all the travel. Um, but if we're having a longer discussion. I prefer the option to be in person. So I would say at your discretion, uh, Marissa, if, if you, you know, if you think, a, a, a meeting's going to be relatively short that we could do it all on Zoom, but uh, otherwise that we would do hybrid. Um, I'm okay with that. I feel like uh, discretions 
good. It's good to, 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 to be able to have some flexibility about it. Rachel, you look like you started to raise your hand. Yep. Oh yeah. I just, you know, that sounds exactly like how I feel, but then I was, um, yeah, I guess as long as we posted that meeting, I, I was just thinking, is that confusing for the public? But I think, you know, I, yeah, for me that lives the half an hour commute back in there, you know, if it's a short meeting, but I do really like the in-person meetings, frankly, if it's, if it's a long meeting, I find it easier to attend if I'm there, you know, really go, um, together. But for a short meeting, you know, I can, I don't have to rush dinner. You know, 5.30 is a little tough. Like if it was six, I'd be like all over in person all the time. But 5.30 is a tough time for me. I can do it. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I can, but yeah, anyway, just to say that the discretion idea sounds good to me. And also, um, yeah, with just, just watching the COVID rates too and cutting out the stuff but oh i'm um, good for a while i'm good for a while <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> um, i know um, i know i'm the last man standing in the, in the horror movie i haven't gotten it yet it's like oh no. you've never gotten it I, and i had three wow. kids oh, like, at the same time and i was just like you know free falling like bring it on and it didn't happen oh so, man but I'm i so do proud like, of myself. I think, what'd you say i was i was so proud of myself i never got it till last may but now oh, really? Oh, Twice right. in a year. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I do think for the longer, especially like the really, you know, when we really get in the weeds, like the mm -hmm. lighting ordinance, that was just made so much better in person. Like just with, mm -hmm. the, you know, the public and everything. So I do think that I would just, I would just throw it to your discretion and you can do it kind of meeting what the vibe is. If be hippie about it. <laughs> go with the vibe. <laughs> Whatever the vibe is. Right. Uh, you go for it. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Uh, what do you think, Eric? I, I'm in the same boat. Um, I like that the short meeting was, even though I tried to go in person, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that I got to go home very quickly. Um, but but I, I think that your discretion is the best. Okay. Uh, best way to go. So, uh, um, yeah, I ended up being, I'd, you know, I'd originally said in, per, in, per, in person or, you know, hybrid and, and then when Laura brought up the, you know, was on the agenda and really talked about it, I was like, well, uh, let's, that's fine. Uh, but, and then today I was relieved uh, when I uh, didn't, didn't have to come in. I had some other things going on. So, um, okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. I think um, I'll, I'll do my best to, um, uh, I'll do my best to um, sort of gauge, you know, what looks like, if it looks like it's going to be a hot meeting um, or a long meeting, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just tell, let Laura know that it, that's going to be a hybrid and, and, in, you know, we'll have an in-person option. And then if it looks like it'll be easy breezy, like tonight, then, um, then we can all, you know, preheat our ovens to get dinner ready, uh, mm -hmm. while we, while we multitask. Um, um, so that sounds good. I don't, we don't need to vote on that. Right. But then what, and what will we vote on? Just whatever we feel like <laughs> meeting the meeting, right? Um, the, um, all right. Um, so there's nothing else on the agenda that I guess I, I wanted to just mention one thing and I guess maybe it could be under new business or maybe under format. Um, one thing I was, um, I had been thinking about, um, especially after a very, um, long uh or <laughs> not the last one but the long legislative matters meeting in december um is a, a suggestion i'd like to make um going forward is that when we have when we have legislation and i am guilt and i just want to start with like i'm as guilty about this as anybody else and guilty is not even the right word because that imputes some like judgment or something which is not what i'm about but if looking at legislation and we're coming into a meeting and you know you have something specific that you want to suggest or add or talk about if if we could kind of get in the habit of doing our best to come with some prepared some prepared language like mm -hmm. if 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 you if there's something specific that you want um and it doesn't um i just feel like this would be a good place i i don't i find we i think i'm i don't think i know i don't do my best work trying to like draft on the fly. And so on one hand, I don't want to like, we had such great creative, thoughtful discussions on the lighting and some good things and language changes and things came out of that. But also, and frankly, it wasn't so much this committee um, in our predecessors, but you know, some folks from the planning board came and I'd be 
um, with some pretty specific things that they wanted to talk about. And I think it would be good to just encourage um, just a, li a little bit of advance advance work on folks. If, if you're coming with a with a kind of a big uh, suggestion or something that you want to deal with, uh, to 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 be a little specific about that. Um, and I'm not saying I'm not going to shut down any discussions. I'm not going to say we can't talk about it. It just I think it would help the discussions is all. Um, and for what it's worth, when we get to any joint meetings um, with planning board, I think I will suggest to, I, is George still, do we know, is George Cohut the, still the chair of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might also ask ask him to suggest um, to, to members of the planning board that, that they think about um, being specific about the things that they want to talk about and what they might want to mm -hmm. see different. Um, and, uh, yep, Alex? Yeah, and... You know, we also have the option to submit a written um, amendment that could go on, on the agenda that, that could give all of the rest of us time to consider it before we get arrive at the meeting. Yeah, I would say that I uh, I certainly don't. Um, I, I think that's a great suggestion, and I would love it if people would do that, and I will highly encourage it. I certainly don't want to give the impression that we wouldn't be talking about or considering or you know, put things on the table in the absence of that. Right. So, um, but, but yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> yeah. It was just a clarification about that, Alex. Um, do you, if, if someone wants to submit, you know, um, an amendment or what you would have to be after we saw it on the agenda, probably you don't need the 12, 48 hours to submit the agenda amendment. Right. Okay. That can be done ahead of any time ahead of time. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think Laura said so she's the one who has to do it. <laughs> well, it can be introduced on the floor. So yeah, right. definitely. Right. But, but I meant course, the written. I, but if I give it. it to me ahead of time, I will upload it to the agenda. So it's there for people right. to Yeah. So it's probably I guess it's at what you know what you're able to do, you know, depending how close it is to the meeting. Thanks. Yeah. So that, and that, and that's basically my, my suggestion is that if we, if um, anything is wellness, you know, um, that just the more that we can get in advance to be thinking about and knowing that we're going to be discussing um, would, you know, I think um, help, uh, help, could help some discussions. We'll see. It's kind of hypothetical at this point. I'm just remembering a very, very, very long joint meeting. <laughs> um. So, all right. Um, I don't have anything else. Anybody else have anything? Not really? No. All right. Well, it was lovely to see your faces. Yeah. I'll make a motion to adjourn then. All right. Second. Laura. Counselor um, Neori. Yes. Counselor Elkins. Yes. Counselor Perry. Yes. And Counselor Jarrett. Kitten. Yes. Yes.